Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at a few travel clothing items from a company called Imperial Motion. And they make some really lightweight, versatile, and durable apparel. And the items that we're gonna be taking a look at in this video are their Liberty Chino pant, which is a really great, nice looking travel pant. Their Provision Shacket, which is kind of a hybrid jacket and shirt for traveling. And then also their Regulate Bomber, which is just a really great layering jacket. And all these items look fantastic. They feel very well made and they work very well for travel just because they're so weather resistant and they also have some nice moisture wicking properties. So I'm really excited to share them with you guys and I wanna thank the company for sending the items for me to test out. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. The first item that we're gonna be taking a look at is the Liberty Chino Pant. And starting off with the aesthetics, I think that these look great. They definitely look like actual chinos. They feel like they're gonna fit in well into a variety of environments, whether you're taking them into the office for traveling or even for walking around the city. As far as the fit, they have been really, really comfortable. I ordered these in a size 34, which is what I normally wear, and they fit great. They have a pretty slim cut, so if that's not your style, it's just something to keep in mind. They also have about a 32 inseam, but for me, that's worked great. I really like how this has looked with a variety of different shoes and outfits. And then the material that this is made out of is a nylon and spandex blend, which feels great. It's very lightweight and quick drying. On top of that, it also has a nice amount of stretch to really add a lot of comfort, making this great for all sorts of activities. In addition to the stretch, this also has a DWR coating that adds a nice amount of water and stain resistance. So just a really versatile and durable feeling pant overall that's gonna work great, particularly in a hotter climate. I just took these with me to Costa Rica and they felt awesome while still offering me something stylish that I could wear while I was walking around at night. The pants are offered in two different colors. There's a faded black version, which is what we have here, that can almost tend to look a little bit like a dark gray. And then they also have a khaki version. So just some nice standard colors that are gonna match well with a bunch of different outfits. And then in addition to the durable materials, the pants also have solid hardware all throughout. So there's YKK zippers. And then on top of that, they have these nice rubberized buttons that are gonna add a nice amount of weather resistance. And then jumping into some of the additional features that make these a more versatile pants, they do also have this nice loop near the belt area where you can attach a pair of keys. This has been a really nice area to just quickly store something with a keychain. One thing that I did notice about this is that it's a little bit thin, so it's fairly elastic, but I do fear that pulling on this over a longer period of time or if your keys happen to get stuck on something, it does feel like this could kind of start to tear pretty easily. Jumping into the pockets on the front, the pants have two pretty standard large pockets here where you can easily fit your hands. One thing that's really nice about these pockets is that they have this meshing material on the inside which feels really soft and stretchy. And then on the pocket on the right, you also have an additional larger compartment that's a little bit more hidden. I really like the inclusion of this style of pocket in a lot of modern travel pants and so plenty of space in this area. Currently what I have in this pocket is just a field notes notebook to kind of show off the size so you could definitely fit your passport in here. I was also able to easily fit my iPhone 11 Pro so plenty of space in this area. I really like how deep it goes to allow you to add a little bit more versatility to this pocket. And then on the back, there's two additional pockets that have a nice amount of space. I can easily fit my hand. These have the same meshing material that we saw on the front. So really like how much flexibility that adds. And then in one of the pockets on the back, there's also a zippered closure to add a little bit of security. So if you happen to place your wallet or maybe your passport or some cash in here, it's nice to have this extra bit of protection here. Nice YKK zipper that's also covered with a flap to add a little bit of additional weather resistance. And so this opens up nicely. And then on the inside, it has a similar amount of space to the other one that we just took a look at. So really like the different amounts of organization and versatility offered by these pants. They look and feel great. And if you're looking for a solid pair of chinos, it's gonna work well in a variety of environments. The Liberty Chino is gonna be a great option to check out. The next item that we're gonna take a look at is the Provision Shacket, which is a really interesting concept. Just based on the name, you can kind of tell that it's meant to be a shirt-jacket hybrid, so it's a little bit thicker than a standard button-down shirt, but not quite heavy enough to really count as a jacket, so a very interesting mixture here. This was another item that I took with me to Costa Rica, and it actually ended up working really well for that sort of a climate, as it gave me a pretty nice looking just outer layer to wear while I was traveling and wearing on the airplane, but not so hot that I wouldn't be able to wear it in a hotter climate. So just a really nice mixture here. I really like the style of the shacket. It has a pretty slim fit. I ordered this in a medium and it fit really well. And I like how it kind of blended in well with a bunch of different outfits. I did wear this with the Liberty Chinos, but also with a variety of jeans and it just looked great. Did look a little bit more like a travel accessory than a normal button down shirt. I was actually surprised how wearable this was in a bunch of different environments given all the technical features that it does have. 
And so jumping into the materials, this is actually made out of a spandex and polyester blend that offers plenty of weather resistance and it makes the jacket windproof. It also has a nice amount of stretch, so a lot of comfort here. I took this with me specifically to help keep me protected against the rain and it kept me very dry in the rainfall that I did get caught in. Obviously at the top, you don't have any sort of a hood, which would have been a nice addition, but for the most part, my body was kept completely dry. Really like how durable the materials on the shacket ended up feeling and that they were also very comfortable and moisture wicking and quick drying. So just a really great kind of versatile travel accessory. And even though this is pretty lightweight, it did offer some warmth while I was wearing this on the flight. So I really liked traveling with this. And then in addition to all the different weather resistance that it offers, I really like the amount of pockets that it includes. So on the front, at the top, there's one zippered pocket here that has a nice amount of space. This has YKK zippers all around, so really solid build quality. And this has plenty of space for placing something like my passport or my phone. So I was really happy while I was traveling to have somewhere secure that I could quickly grab something when I needed it. And then moving down towards the bottom, there's two additional compartments where you can place your hands if you were getting a little bit colder. And these also have really nice YKK zippers. So I really like the protection that's added to these compartments all around. If you saw the video that I did for traveling through airport security, this is kind of the perfect item for me where I could toss in all the items that are normally in my pockets into this jacket and then just take this off and place it on the conveyor belt while going through security. So just a really versatile accessory overall. Love the amount of pockets offered here. And then jumping into the inside of the shacket, it has these rubberized snap buttons that open up very easily. So I really like this system for getting in and just to allow you to wear the shirt even open, it still manages to look pretty nice. And so on the inside, it has this soft material that feels very comfortable. It's not super hot, but as I mentioned, it did help keep me a little bit warmer while I was on the flight. And then on the inside, not a whole lot going on. There's a few compartments along each side that are gonna be great for storing some items that you wanna keep a little bit more protected. And so up here at the top, there's just one compartment that's pretty standard on this sort of a shirt or a jacket that's gonna have plenty of space for storing something like a phone or your sunglasses. And then moving down along to the bottom, there is a larger compartment that is gonna be great for holding something like a tablet, which is what I currently have here. This easily fits my iPad mini. I definitely could have put in my Kindle, or this might also be a good spot to put something like a water bottle or a power bank. So just really like the versatility of this larger style of compartment, especially on a travel jacket. And then moving on to the other side, you have another similarly large compartment. Again, this will be great for holding something like a larger piece of electronic or maybe a water bottle or an umbrella. One thing to note about these larger compartments, however, is that they are a little bit open on the side. I'm not sure what the intention is. It actually has this kind of elastic band. So if you put something smaller, there is a big chance that it's gonna fall out of here. So you'll definitely wanna keep just larger items in here so that they don't manage to slip out through these side areas. But still love the versatility of having these compartments on the inside. These have been very useful while traveling and using this on my day to day. And overall, if you're looking for a stylish and versatile piece of travel clothing that's gonna keep you dry in a variety of environments, the Provision Shacket is gonna be a great option to take a look at. The last item that we're gonna take a look at is the Regulate Bomber Jacket. And starting off with the aesthetic, to me, bomber jackets are just really stylish, nice pieces of clothing that work well with a variety of different outfits. I really like how minimal and sleek this is. It's offered in two different colors. The version that I have here is the gray, but it's also offered in a black version. And I just really like the overall aesthetic that this gives, especially if you're looking for something to keep a little bit warm while you're going out at night that's not super heavy. And so really like the fit for the most part. I ordered the medium and this did run a little bit bigger than what I would normally expect, especially for a bomber jacket as these seem to be a little bit more form fitting. So I may look to have this tailored a little bit to improve the fit, but overall I still liked how it looked on me. And then jumping into the material, similar to the shacket, this is made out of a very nice spandex and polyester material that offers a nice amount of stretch and tons of weather resistance. This is highly waterproof. I've been caught in the rain with this and this managed to keep me very, very dry. You can also see that all the zippers are very well protected. There's nice YKK zippers with a really intense ceiling so no water is getting through any of these zippers here. So just a really solid build quality all around. The four-way stretch that it has makes it feel great and maneuverable. So regardless of whatever activity you're using this for, it's gonna feel very, very comfortable. In addition to the stretch and water resistance, this is also a pretty lightweight material. So you're gonna be able to use it in a bunch of different environments. And it's also really quick drying, which is gonna help with odor management. So just a really solid build quality all around as far as the materials. And then in addition to that, as I mentioned earlier, YKK zippers all throughout. It really feels like this is gonna hold up well over the longer term. And then I also really like that on the jacket sleeves and the neck, it has this really soft, elastic material that's gonna just add that extra bit of comfort. So overall, this felt really nice to wear. And then jumping into the actual pocketing, 
opening these up. In addition to the weather protection that they have, they also have plenty of space. On the inside, they have this kind of soft liner, which is really nice, especially if you want to toss in something like your phone. And I really like the use of zippered compartments like these, especially for a travel jacket, as we saw with the shacket. Just makes it very easy to toss in a few things, particularly while you're going through airport security and feeling like this stuff isn't actually going to fall out of the pockets. And then before jumping into the inside, I really like the implementation on this main zipper here. In addition to the protection that it has, you can also unzip it from the bottom while you're wearing it if you need to get into the inside a little bit more quickly and you don't wanna open it up all the way. So really like this idea here. The zippers work very well. It's very easy to open and close the jacket. And for this top zipper, it also has an additional zipper pull to just make it a little bit easier to pull this down. And so a pretty simple layout overall on the inside. The first thing I'll mention is this inner material is the same thing that we saw on the outside pocket, so it's pretty soft. It offers okay amount of warmth. It's actually a pretty thin jacket, so it's not gonna work that great for colder climates, but as a layering piece that you could wear on something like a flight, it is gonna add at least a little bit of additional warmth. The pocket layout here is a little bit simpler than what we saw on the shacket. You just have two pockets down near the bottom on the left, and so this is a larger compartment that's gonna have plenty of space for holding larger accessories. I was able to fit my tablet in here as well, but much like we saw with the larger compartments in the other jacket, they're also pretty open here on the side. Again, I kind of wish they had just been sealed so that you could actually use this as a pocket for a bunch of different items as opposed to just having to use it for larger things. And then next to that, there's an interesting kind of long, thin compartment. I suppose you could probably use this for something like a pen or a stylus or maybe even a candy bar or something. So not a whole lot that you can use with this kind of more narrow compartment. I guess it's still nice to have some additional pocketing that you can take advantage of. And then jumping over to the other side, you have an almost identical layout with the same large open compartment and then a thin area here that you could use to store smaller accessories. So overall, just really like the simple layout in this compartment. I do kind of wish that there had been an additional few pockets near the top to just add some additional versatility, but still a very nice stylish piece of clothing. And if you're looking for something that's gonna be highly weather resistant that you can use on your trips to maybe go out at night or just have a more stylish look, the Regulate Bomber is gonna be a great option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a really great experience testing out the Imperial Motion, Liberty Chino, Provision Shacket, and Regulate Bomber over the past month. They've all been very comfortable to wear. They look great. They're gonna fit in nicely into a bunch of different environments and their versatile and lightweight material make them really great for traveling. And so you can currently purchase these on Imperial Motion's site for between $100 and $150, which is definitely a bit of an investment, but considering the features and build quality that the items have to offer, it seems like a pretty reasonable price. And this also compares well to other travel clothing items that are in this category. And so as I was testing these out, this definitely made me think of a lot of the other items that we featured recently on the channel. So if you're looking for a solid pair of chinos similar to the Liberty Chino pants, I definitely recommend checking out the Western Rise AT Slim Pants. Those have been some of my favorite travel pants that we've tested out. They've been very durable, they're very comfortable to wear, they have a nice amount of weather resistance and stain resistance, and they just look great. They look like normal pants. They're a little bit less shiny and lightweight than these pants, so they're gonna be a little bit better for warmer climates, and they come in at a pretty similar price point. So if you're looking for a solid pair of pants that are gonna be very comfortable, the Western Rise AT Slim Pants are gonna be a great option to keep in mind. Another great travel pant option to consider, especially if you prefer a more denim-like aesthetic, will be the Dura All-Weather Denim, which we looked at pretty recently. That was a very solid travel jean. It feels very premium. It's gonna be a little bit better for warmer climate. It has a thicker feel, and it's gonna offer some nice weather resistance, and it's pretty windproof. Those are gonna come in at around $200, so a little bit more of an investment, but if you're looking for something solid that's gonna look great in a variety of environments, that's gonna be another great option to keep in mind. And if you like the idea of travel jackets such as the Regulate Bomber or the Shacket, another great option to take a look at will be the Bluffworks Ramercy Blazer, which is gonna be great, especially if you're looking for something that's gonna be a little bit more professional for business travel. That one feels great, it's very well made, it has tons of pockets, and it's just gonna be a great versatile option to consider to make your travel a little bit easier. And if you're looking for other versatile clothing items that are gonna help complete your minimal travel wardrobe, I definitely recommend you check out the videos that we've done for the Vessi Cityscape sneaker, the Lems Chucka boot, the Bluffworks Threshold t-shirt, and the Bobax Travel Sweatshirt 2.0. And if there are any other great travel clothing items that you think I should feature on the channel, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna go ahead and thank the company again for sending the item for me to test out. And if you guys found this video useful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.